Part 2, Chapter 4 Rousseau thinks about what it's like in the prisoner dock. His lawyer argues that he's guilty with an excuse, the prosecution says he's guilty with no excuse, and the whole time, Rousseau has to sit there and let everyone else discuss his case. He's not allowed to intervene to the point where it feels like he isn't even part of the case. The prosecutor's closing statements tries to paint the crime as premeditated. The prosecutor draws a straight line from Amon's funeral, Marie, Raymond, to the beach, and to walking alone, firing, and then firing four more times. The prosecutor says that Merceau knows the value of words, and knew what he was doing. One thing the prosecutor points out is that Merceau doesn't feel any remorse for what happened. It's true, Merceau doesn't feel remorse, but he wants to explain that he has never felt remorse for anything. The prosecutor says that he has looked into Rousseau's soul and found nothing, that it is not Rousseau's fault that nothing is there, but that it is the jury's job to give justice, to protect justice, when the emptiness in Rousseau's heart can become an abyss threatening to swallow up the whole of society. The prosecutor then brings up the case of the parricide, the one that the court's going to try tomorrow, and that this case is just like that one, where the murder of a father is the same as the moral murder of a mother, and that the moral murder even paves the way and legitimizes the physical murder of the father. The prosecutor asks for the death penalty from Rousseau, and calls him a monster. The judge quietly asks Rousseau if he wants to add anything. Rousseau's that he never intended to kill the Arab. The judge says that at least there was an insertion, and he didn't understand the defense. So he asks Rousseau his reasoning for murder. Immediately, Rousseau starts talking about the sun and everybody starts laughing. The judge quiets the courtroom as Rousseau's lawyer throws up his hands. Rousseau's lawyer asks for a recess to prepare and it's granted. Rousseau's lawyer begins his closing statements and Rousseau is taken aback by his use of I. A guard tells him that they all do it. What is apparent is that Rousseau's lawyer is not as talented as the prosecutor. He talks about how good of a worker Rousseau is, how he put his mom in a home because it was better for her in the long run, and that even it would be wrong to complain about the retirement home because it was a state institution. The only thing that he never talks about is the funeral, which Rousseau sees as a big omission. Rousseau can hear the noises from the outside, he hears the ice cream vendors, and remembers the little things outside, like the smells of summer, a part of town, or Marie's dresses, and the way she laughed. Rousseau wants to go back to his cell and sleep. His lawyer continues, asking if they would send an honest man who lost control to death, especially someone who was already under great remorse. His lawyer finished, court was adjourned, and he sat down looking exhausted. Others came up to say that he was brilliant. As everyone waits for the judges to return, the court is like the first day. Rousseau can see all of his friends. He can even see Marie. She smiles at him, but he can't smile back. The judges come back and instruct the jurors. Then the jury leaves and Rousseau is taken to a small room. His lawyer thinks he'll only get a few years or hard labor. He didn't file any motion so as not to anger the jury. But if worse comes to worse, they can always appeal. After 45 minutes, a bell rings. His lawyer tells him the jury will read the verdict, and then he will be brought in only for sentencing. Rousseau hears some papers rustling and talking, and then another bell. He walks in, but notices the reporter is not looking at him. He doesn't have time to see Marie, as a judge reads that he is to have his head cut off in public in the name of the French people. Everyone looks considerate, and the police are easy with him. The judge asks if he has anything to say, and he says no. Then they take him away.